welcome you guys to a new episode of Simpac Spotlight. And we are so glad that you joined us for this one. We also have someone in the studio who has joined us, special guest, none other than Senator Joyce Waddell from Views with Joyce Waddell. Senator Waddell, thank you so much for being in the studio. Thank you for coming. Oh, it's a pleasure for me to be here and I'm honored that you've asked me and hit this place this time. Well, I'm glad about it. You, you show up all the time and to do your show. And what I wanted to talk about was the fact that you have been here even before it was Simpac Spotlight, um, Cable Vision of Charlotte, Time Warner Cable. You were there and we have some examples of that, some of the way we use the old technology and some of your awards. But talk to me about that. You were here. You know, I started as a guest with uh, Reverend Maggie Nicholson. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, she, well, she's a legend. Yes. And as a result of being her guest, mm -hmm. she said, well, why don't you do a show, too, so that you can share uh, additional things because you have a lot to talk about. Right. Well, I had been her guest over and over and over. And so I said, okay, I'll take the workshop. I right. loved it. That's awesome. I loved every minute of it. So yes. I did take the workshop because I had really had the time um, with flexible schedule. Yes, ma'am. And that's been ever since 1990, and I've been going strong ever since. I have never had to cancel a show. Wow. Over wow. those years. You had to have six people when I started. Six people on your crew? That's right, mm -hmm. or you couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. I never had to cancel because I did not have crew. That's wonderful. Uh, I never had to cancel because of any other reason. Mm -hmm. And. Um, the only thing that has been um, prohibited now is COVID. COVID, yes. But, but I still love it. And it has been a joy and a pleasure. And many people in the community, I've been able to help promote mm -hmm. um, through some of the things that they do when it comes to community service. Yes. When it comes to sharing with the community. Mm -hmm. And it's been a delight for many of them. And they will come back and say, because, in fact, one of the most memorable guests Larry Johnson played basketball oh, yes. here. Yes. And this lady. Grandmama. He used to play Grandmama, didn't he? Dress up in one of his little characters, Larry yeah, Johnson. He, I don't know, but he was basketball player. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. And he was getting married. Mm -hmm. And the person that I interviewed, she did weddings. Mm. And as a result of that, he saw her. And the, and the bride-to-be saw her. Mm -hmm. It's not a great thing. She got the contract. Wow, that's nice. And many of the persons that are so memorable to me, mm -hmm. Julius Chambers. What? I did things with him. Okay. Um, and um, some of them, it, it kind of brings tears to my eyes because they're no longer with us. Right, right. Well, I, I am so glad that you brought up Reverend Maggie Nicholson. I remember her. And I used to volunteer here too. You, you came in before I did. But I was so glad that you were established. So I think I volunteered on your show back when I got out of college. And then you were doing um, several things, like you were just mentioning, interviews. I missed the one with Larry Johnson. But all of these guests that you have had has been an example of how you have been engaged in the community. You know what? Whoopi Goldberg does The View. Yes, ma'am. And I say I came before her. I had views with Joyce Waddell, and, and, and people, right. people will say, you copied from her. No, I didn't. No, you didn't. I came before the view. Right. Views with Joyce Waddell. There you go. Mm -hmm. Well, when those people who said that see this show, they will see how far you have come, because what we have in front of us, everyone, are examples of the technology and the media that we stored our films on and our shows on prior to where we've come now. So you have that three quarter inch tape to VHS and then the high eight and then the, the uh, little mini DV, the DVD. And so, yeah, you came before. You know, the we, we always, always look to improve things. Yes, ma'am. And that's what technology is about. Mm -hmm. When we start with the big tapes, mm -hmm. they took up a lot of space. Yes but they did what they were supposed to do in that place okay. at that time. Mm -hmm. And as we moved on forward, we had tapes that took up less space. Mm -hmm. And we're at the point now where you don't, you, you just store them on your drive. Right. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Store them on your hard drive or your internal hard drive for your computer yes. or the external, mm -hmm. you know, extra to hard drive. So, and I have a room with over a thousand oh, wow. tapes. Well, Senator and Waddell. And so uh, sometimes I go back in time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I remember when you brought that bag of DVDs for us to be able to convert. And that showed the fact that you are keeping up because you want to utilize the new technology. Not only that, right. some, of the, some of the people, mm -hmm. charlatans, mm -hmm. that I've interviewed over time. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. And when they see themselves again or someone sees them, they say, oh, I remember. I remember mm -hmm. that person. Remember that person. Mm -hmm. Rock and Ray Gooden. Rock he was, a, a, yes, a Sounds DJ. Like, yes. Mm -hmm. Back in the day. Okay. And we did several shows. He was on my show several times. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Was he your DJ? Did he do a DJing on here? You no, just I just knew him from the community. Okay. Mm -hmm. All and right. he, he was a promotion person, too, for transit mm -hmm. in Charlotte. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. When I first started, there were two pastors, two well-known pastors, that mm -hmm. they had their church service. One was here. Mm -hmm. There was Joyce Waddell, and then the other well-known pastor. Right. And so it was a really plus for me that they were there mm -hmm. because it helped to promote my show. Right. Um, and, it, and it was mm -hmm. a good thing, and it made a difference. Yeah. It, it increased the viewership tremendously. Absolutely. I think um, this outreach that we have at Television 21 mm -hmm. is just phenomenal. It's awesome. It's good. Because it reaches out to this community mm -hmm. and provides a vehicle where we can get information to the Charlotte community. Mm -hmm. And there are new people coming to this, this city all the time. Right. You, and a lot of people tell me, um, the reason I knew you on television, I start flipping through the channels. Start flipping through. And as I flip through the channels, then I saw you. Here you are now our, our state senator. But prior to that, you were our community activist. And I All served the, on the Charlotte McMurray Board of Education. Exactly, the mm -hmm. Board of Education. You know, <laughs> <laughs> the Board of Education and, and all the things that you did. Tell me what prompted you to run for our Senate. You know, I had been active with my precinct for 20 years, wow, okay. helping other people to get elected. Okay. And keeping that precinct, Precinct 105, okay. alive. Mm hmm um, sometimes to keep it organized, I'd have to go in the community in my car, pick up people, and bring them, I'd meet at the school, and bring them to the school. If they, I didn't take no for an answer. Mm -hmm. When they said they couldn't participate, I would pick them up yes, and bring them so that I would have the number, and started with just pre precinct organizations. Mm -hmm. And I went from that to helping, work, working on a lot of campaigns. Mm -hmm. Because I wanted to see change right. when it comes to representation, mm -hmm. when it comes to people saying they will represent you. And we had to do things to get them elected. Mm -hmm. Now, prior to, in the 70s, we had a very difficult time getting black representation. Really? Wow. Get, even getting blacks elected to a school board position. Mm. So it took a lot of work knocking on doors, mm -hmm. the old fashioned telephone, mm -hmm. calling people, and meet them at church, and getting them to know how important this is, mm -hmm. and to vote, like community outreach, that's what had to happen. Yes. Things did get better, mm -hmm. a whole lot better, mm -hmm. over the years. And um, I went from serving, I was second vice chair in the Black Political Caucus. Mm -hmm. I was financial secretary, Black Political Caucus. Wow. I worked in the Democratic Party. Um, secretary, several offices there. And we went back and forth to Raleigh mm -hmm. to lobby for the things that we wanted. Mm -hmm. When I got on the school board, I did the same thing. Mm -hmm. Superintendent, along with his board members, we would go to Raleigh mm -hmm. and lobby and say, this is what we need in Charlotte. Mm -hmm. These are some things that are necessary for our school system. And as a result, I got to know people. Yeah. I got to see how the Senate works. Right. I got to see how Raleigh works. Right. And so when that seat became available, I was one of five wow. that applied for it okay. and ran for it. Okay. There were four men and I was the one. And you were the only woman, <laughs> but you were in it. You were in that oh, absolutely. In motion. Absolutely. You, yeah. you have to work hard and it has to be non-relentless. Non-relentless. 
Yeah. And you got to be out there and mm -hmm. talk to people mm -hmm. and let them know how important it is. Mm -hmm. How important it is to get people to vote. Just to show up to the polls, yes. to register and show up. Yes, yes. And you have to do that by organizing community people. Yes, ma'am. And when you tell people what's in it for them, that's what they want to know. How it will affect them. Mm -hmm. How it will help them. They'll get on board. Get on board. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, some of the issues that we're dealing with right now, I'm sure some of the issues that you were dealing with then, and we're going to talk about that a little bit later, but I do want to stick with the fact that you were the boots on the ground and trudging and going to Raleigh to lobby for things you felt like were necessary in the community. So if you will, unpack that a little bit, because I think some of today's youth in particular, they don't understand, just like with the technology. You have to pull this out, and they're like, what's that? Mm -hmm. but, but, you know, they, they see this, that's, this, and this already in place, and yet don't know how we may have gotten here. So can you unpack that You know, that a people bit? want things, and they want things for their community. Mm -hmm. They always want things. When we look at the funding source, and okay. I would say, if I could say anything, it takes money a lot of times mm -hmm. to get things done. Yes, ma'am. And when dollars come in, some, a lot of times you get federal dollars. Mm -hmm. It will come into Raleigh mm -hmm. to be given, uh, allocated to our state and mm -hmm. to our county, mm -hmm. different parts of the county and the city. We find out that are things that we really need funding. Um, we have to speak up for them. Right, right. And make sure that we can get those things in the community. Exactly. One of the things that I was very successful in, because I serve in the education. Right. Education committee. I've been on that ever since I've been in Raleigh. Yes, ma'am. And this is, I'm serving the, my fourth term. Yep. Which makes it eight years. Cause wow, yes. Yeah. Just two years. Two years. Mm -hmm. I'm up for re-election. Mm -hmm. Which will, I'll be serving my fifth term, which will be 10 years. Wonderful. That is so it. wonderful. But, but <clears throat> back to your question about how do you get things in and what are some of the important things yes. that Charlotte needs, mm -hmm. that Charlotte wants. Now, we got a lot of stimulus money. We have to have money for our court system. Yes. And, and many of our, we just don't dream up things. The needs they must exist. come from the state. Mm -hmm. It must come from the city and the county. Mm -hmm. We have a, a city person mm -hmm. who represents the city, mm -hmm. who's the liaison, liaison, which is the go between Raleigh and the city. Mm -hmm. we have a county person doing the same thing, yeah. go between the county. We have a school board person mm -hmm. that does the same thing. Mm -hmm. So they look at the needs of the school board, they come to us and tell us. Mm -hmm. Look at the needs of the county, they come to us and tell us. The city, they come to us and tell us. Yes. And also, uh, Central Pima, our community college system, mm -hmm. and UNCC, all of them have lobbyists as well mm -hmm. to tell us this is what we need. We need increasing salaries. Mm -hmm. That's one of the things that I have worked so hard for, mm -hmm. to increase salaries, basically for and a lot for our retirees. Okay, yes. A mm -hmm. lot of times when I get ready to speak, they say, oh, and she's going to talk about retirees. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're a good advocate. <laughs> That's what they know. And so about additional monies for retirees. Mm -hmm. Retirees give 30 years and more mm -hmm. time, energy to education. Mm -hmm. And after a certain amount of time, it does not increase when it comes to their retirement check. Mm -hmm. And the reason it doesn't go as far as it should go, medicines increase. Yes. And you know, the Inflation. older you get, the more, the more medicine you're going to probably need. I've seen that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That increases. Mm -hmm. And don't talk about your grocery bills. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And so, it's crazy. Retirees' compensation, the check, mm -hmm. does not equal to what it used to equal. It doesn't go far it enough. It does go as far. Gotcha. So, not only do I speak up for that all the time. Mm -hmm. I have them come to Raleigh as well. You go pick them up too? <laughs> Talk I, about I, have them with, I have them with their transportation. They, they'll bring buses. Yes, ma'am. Before we had COVID. Mm -hmm. 
Right. And they talk about the agenda, what they want to see. Mm -hmm. Knock on doors and talk to mm -hmm. the people who can vote and make a difference. Mm -hmm. So those are some of the things that you must do. And I tell people, you cannot be silent. Right. You cannot be silent. Get your petition. Mm -hmm. Make sure you come. Make sure you speak up. Mm -hmm. And make sure you let everybody know. Mm -hmm. Everybody, each person with a vote, let them know this is what you want. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't, if you don't want, if you don't tell them, mm -hmm. then they say, well, I didn't, I don't know. You didn't say anything. Exactly. And they then say, don't you, complain. You, yeah. If you didn't Senator Waddell, you saying this, but where are your people? What are they saying? Mm -hmm. I see. Well, that's good because you, you are rallying us and stoking us to make sure that we use our voice and that we are kind of like an, an uh, what is what I'm looking for? Kind of like a, sitting adjacent to you mm -hmm. because you represent us and our community, but we should also come. We should also go to Raleigh. We should also speak right. up. You write your letters. Write the letters. Do the emails. Mm -hmm. And as many people mm -hmm. and as many times that they can hear from you, it makes a difference. Some people say it doesn't. It makes a difference. It makes a difference. Even okay. when I was, when I served on the Charlotte McLean Board of Education mm -hmm. as a school board member, mm -hmm. people would come and they would speak about things they wanted to see in their schools. Mm -hmm. They would talk about magnet schools. Mm -hmm. They would talk about pupil assignment. Mm. They'd talk about cafeteria issues, the school bus riding issues, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and everything that was important to them. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying, well, you let, you come to the school board. Mm -hmm. Make sure you have your information correct. Mm -hmm. Get somebody to read it if you can't articulate it. Mm -hmm. And make sure it's written correct. And let them know. And I will tell you, as a result, 98% of the people who took time to do that got results. They got results. Somebody got back to them. Yeah. Somebody heard them. Mm -hmm. Somebody paid attention. Mm -hmm. um, several of us would go into the community sometimes when they would say, you know, we have this issue mm -hmm. in the community and we're really, really, we are really concerned about the bus stops, mm -hmm. because that's, say that's one thing. Mm -hmm. It's stopping in front of the elderly people's homes and they don't want that, so right. we want these routes changed. Right. Um, so then we say, are you the only person with this concern? Are there other people with this concern? Mm -hmm. Let me talk to groups, <clears throat> what they are saying, and how it's making a difference and mm -hmm. what they would want to see happen. Right. So you got to know what the issue is, uh -huh. which part of government is responsible, right. and how it can make a difference. Right. Well, you know, I'm so glad you mentioned about how people can get in touch, because that was going to be my next question, because you are so accessible. And I know when, when politicians get elected or people get elected and become politicians, a lot of times people feel like they're inaccessible, <clears throat> excuse me, or that they're just out of touch and don't really understand what the people at the grassroots level need. So with you having been in, in the Senate and serving for eight years and to still have your show and to still talk to, to us about these specific, very basic and even more advanced needs is really great. Well, you know what? You have to go, when people invite you to, to a community event, mm -hmm. you have to go, you gotta be there. You gotta hear what mm -hmm. they have to say. Mm -hmm. When they invite you to a fundraising community, a fundraising event, and you get a lot of those. Right. You gotta be there too. Because mm -hmm. they expect you to be there and expect mm -hmm. you to speak. Yes. A lot of people don't know who their representatives are. That's right. And if they don't know, <clears throat> you let them know. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter how small it may be, how insignificant they may think it is. Mm -hmm. If they will let us know right. what they're thinking. It can be just one person. Mm -hmm. They'll get a response. They'll get a response. Mm -hmm. Well, that is so good. And sometimes it's so something that you'd be surprised, some small things. Yeah. Um, family issues. Okay. Such as um, child care. Mm. Uh, not having enough preschool. Mm -hmm. Pre-K. Mm -hmm making sure that they can get children into pre-K pre -K programs. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's a local issue and they don't know how to get their children registered. Right. 
rather than say, you know, that's not my job. Mm -hmm. You find a way mm -hmm. to answer and find a way to get to the right person right. so that they can speak to them and make sure that that happens. Yeah. That questions are answered. And see, and I think um, when you say, people say they don't know how to get to those things, I think they also think they may be the only one who's really, really in need of that specific thing. I mean, they may know that there's others who, who share, but they don't feel like they are maybe as engaged or thinking about it as much as they are to do something about it. So. Yes. Um, that's, been an, that's been an issue. Mm -hmm. And not only that, you have to get other people on your team, other senators. Mm -hmm. when, mm -hmm. you, when you bring forth the legislation, right. bill writing, right. and it's presented, mm -hmm. and it goes to a committee, that's the process. Mm -hmm. You get other people to sign on with you mm -hmm. um, to support it. To support it. To support what you want. Yeah. When I put in uh, legislation, asking for increase in retiree salaries. Mm -hmm. Then you gotta get five or six other senators mm -hmm. who believe in this mm -hmm. and who will support this legislation. Right. And they gotta see it as being important. Mm -hmm. When we looked at um, teacher certification, mm -hmm. retirees could get what you call a lifetime certificate mm. after 30 years. Uh-huh. Okay. But they did not have administrators included in it. Really? I did not know that till I came back. Okay. So I put in legislation. We want that to cover administrators as well. Okay. To make certain that they're getting a lifetime certificate, just like the others. Right. So you get other people to work on that with you mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, other, and speak to it from the floor. Mm -hmm. First it comes to a committee, mm -hmm. and then it goes to the floor, and then it goes to a vote. Okay, yep. And after it goes to a vote and it passes in, in your house, mm -hmm. got to pass the Senate, got to mm -hmm. pass the House of Representatives, right. goes to the governor. Yeah. The governor has 10 days. He can either sign it or not do anything with it and it becomes law. And it becomes law. Or he can veto it. Okay. And so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The process yeah. is, is real and is, it's um, democratic. And it is, you know, starting with the people, we the people. And something that we're dealing with right now in our country is this question about democracy. And I know you introduced a bill about fix our democracy. Was that Senate Bill 716? Yes. Yes. And so that was... We believe in our year. country. and we, we believe in yes. a democratic society. Yes, ma'am. And we must have that mm -hmm. because we are a country of the people, mm -hmm. for the people and by the people, that's and that's right. how we were established, yes. going back to the Declaration of Independence, mm -hmm. um, 1776. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Till now. And all, you know, and, and incorporating all people, because what you were saying earlier about having to fight in the 70s and have representation of a community of people who were not getting the needs that they had, and then fighting all the way up until now and continuing that fight based on what you just said, our constitution. And then for the people, by the people, you know, we are the people. And we're all here working together. So it's awesome that you are introducing those bills. There's a lot of them I saw. There was a lot of them. I was like, wow, is you getting it done? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so here now we are with the, um, the pandemic. We've touched on it a little bit. Now we've gotten a lot of money coming come from the federal government, mm -hmm. American Rescue yes. money. Yes, ma'am. Um, recovery money. Yes. I mean, money for businesses, mm -hmm. um, money for our community, yes. money to give food for people yes. who are in need, mm -hmm. um, money for small businesses, even for large mm -hmm. businesses. Mm -hmm. and so we have to make sure that that money is funneled down to the appropriate persons, yes. pr appropriate entities in the community. Yes and that it's used to make a difference. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Stimulus money. Stimulus yeah. money, yes. A lot of people got two checks. Right. Uh, uh, many of them got so much money with getting the checks, the stimulus check, get an unemployment check. Right. They didn't even want to work. Right, right. Mm -hmm. But it's important to work, right? Oh, because yes, Because of yes. all that mm -hmm. we know we can do. Because we, we weren't created to just sit around. Not at all. We weren't created to just, you know, let anything happen, which is why we are dealing with um, the laws, which is why we're dealing with addressing issues in the pandemic, because we need to work. 
-hmm. We need to work at that. Regardless, we're here. We're here. We have and precautions very, that we've yeah, taken. And Charlotte's very fortunate, yeah. I must say. Mm -hmm. When we think about other counties, mm -hmm. sometimes we get on a bus, maybe 10 or 15 of us, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. ride through North Carolina, mm -hmm. through rural areas mm -hmm. of North Carolina, mm -hmm. and talk to people, and meet at community meetings, and you see the big difference. Mm. Mm -hmm. Charlotte's been very fortunate, wow. but at the same time we have communities here that mm -hmm. are not as fortunate as other communities right. in, in Mecklenburg County. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So we have to ha have them remember that also. Well, what would you say are some things that we do need to pay attention to? You know, homelessness seems to be the biggest mm -hmm. thing in this county. Yeah. And uh, affordable housing. Yes. You hear, this, you hear that day in and day out. Yes, ma'am. It's sad to see that we would have something like tent city. Oh, yes. Like people having to sleep in tents, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. not have a place that they can call home, mm -hmm. not have running water. Wow. Um, you think that would never happen in a city like Charlotte. Right. Charlotte is a generous city, too, mm -hmm. and, it, and it has resources. Mm -hmm. But those resources have to be allocated. They have to be given to and made available. Mm -hmm. As the fact that we are still here and you're still here, I think it's awesome. Oh, it's And as we are wrapping this up, I wish I, I could talk to you on and on and on because you have so much to say. You've said a lot. And we are looking forward to seeing some more of those. Once you get those converted. Oh, we're talking about 32 years ago. <laughs> 32, yes, you have a lot. <laughs> you have a lot that you could probably, you know, edit in to what you're doing right now. But I thank you for joining us. Oh, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. And, and we'll have you back. Thank you so much. Because there's more to talk about. Mm -hmm. All right. And I want to thank you, too. Yes. You guys, you can see Senator Joyce Waddell's program right here on Access 21. Check your listings and whatever service you have. Of course, on Spectrum, it is Access TV 21. And we're also on video on demand. Find that at tvaccess21.com. We'll see you the next time right here on Simpac Spotlight. Why just watch TV? Make TV. Here at Access 21, we have two studios outfitted with all the equipment that you need in order to produce your own show for broadcast on our channel. For more detailed information, visit us at tvaccess21.com. We have the lights, the cameras, now you bring the action.